Welcome to the Job Forum. My name is George. Wouldn't it be nice to receive an SMS message when you receive a form submission? Or maybe an SMS message when you receive a bad review or a bad testimonial? Of course, you want to take care of that as quickly as possible. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your job form to receive SMS messages because some of us are most likely to view SMS messages first than we would in email. So I'm going to be showing you how to accomplish that in this video right now. All right, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form. So let's go into create a form. We're going to start from scratch. And for this case, we're going to select classic form. And let's drag in some basic elements. For example, on the left, we have add form elements. In this case, we'll add for the name, the email. And let's go down here really quickly. Let's add a drop down menu. Okay, and we're going to add some survey elements. So in this case, we'll add a star element and a scale element. Okay, we're going to use this for maybe a review or maybe a testimonial or just any single type of form that you like. That way, we're going to trigger it. So when someone submits it, it's going to send out an SMS message. So let's go ahead and change these questions. For example, would you like to recommend, let's say, our company okay just a random question and for the drop down we're gonna say yes no and maybe okay um, the reason I'm making this one is to show you a quick demonstration of conditional logic so when someone says they don't want to recommend the company well that means something is wrong so we're gonna trigger an SMS message that's gonna be one of the conditional logics that we'll be working with later on and for the star rating, we'll say, for example, do you like job form? And for the one through five, we'll just say, how was the service? Just something random. Okay, so now we have our form. What do we have to do next? Let's go ahead and name this form really quickly so we know what we're gonna, so we find it later on. Form for automation. SMS, right? Just quick going out there. Let's go into publish. Let's go ahead and submit one of these forms really quickly because we're going to need these field elements to later on find them on our automation platform. So let's go ahead and just add this really quickly. And would you like to recommend our company? I'll say no for this one for the test because that's one of the triggers we're going to use. Okay. Um, for this one, we'll just say five, five, and we'll just say a test email. Okay, let's go ahead and submit it. That's been submitted. All right. So now we have data that way our automation, um, the platform that we're going to use is going to find that information. Let's go ahead and close this. And for the automation to receive SMS, we're going to use Zapier. You can use a free version and you still will be able to get those SMS messages. Just it's going to depend on the zaps that you have available on the free plan or the pay plan that you're on. So let's go into create a SAP. And the first thing that we're going to set up is the trigger. Okay, the trigger is what it's going to happen first. So what's going to happen first, someone's going to fill out the job form and submission is going to be made. That's going to trigger this. So let's search for job form. Let's go ahead and select it. And the event that we want is when new submission happens. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's choose the account. If you haven't already connected to job form, please connect. In this case, I already connected to this one but it'll just ask you to allow access to job form. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's choose the form. Remember we named our form, form automation SMS. So let's go ahead and select it, continue. And let's test the trigger. Since we filled this out once before we jumped into here, we have some data. So you can see the name, the email. Would you like to recommend our company? No. Do you like job form? And the other question for the survey, okay? Let's go ahead and continue. And now what action do we want to use on Zapier? So in this case, um, we want to send an SMS. Well, we actually want to receive an SMS. Okay. So for this to happen is that you need to have a phone number that's in the US or UK 
and you have to have access to it. What does that mean? You can't select a random phone number from someone you don't have access to their phone because you're going to receive a code confirmation that you have access to that phone, okay? So let me choose the action. We want to send an SMS. That's what Zapier is going to do. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's choose the account. In this case, I already have it connected. Like I mentioned before, all you have to do is add the phone. It's going to send you code and you reply with the code that it provides and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and continue. And we're going to choose the number. These are random numbers that um, Zapier provides. They let you select from a list that they have. Um, what would this be useful for? If we select one of these numbers, you're always going to receive the SMS from that number. And this could be useful because if you want to whitelist that number or make that number favorite, so just in case you have it on silent mode, you still receive that SMS. Just in case the form submission is really important, you might want to do that, okay? And then we have the message, okay? We can receive the message right here. We want the, the name that they filled out. Let's show more options. Let's go down here. We also want to know the, where is that? Do you recommend the company? We want, we want to know that information. Also, let's choose, do you like job form? And the last one, how was the service? And one more, the email. Okay, where's that email? Here it is. Okay, we can also add the date and the form ID from Jot Form. We can add all of these. And if we had more fields on Jot Form for that submission, we would see these right here and we can add them to have that information available. Okay, let's go ahead and click continue. And let's go ahead and test and review. Okay, an SMS has been sent out. Let me turn on the volume really quickly. There we go. I just received the SMS and let me show you. Okay, hope that is visible. I will try to zoom in. It's the bottom message. Okay, so potentially if I get a form submission, well, I'm going to be able to see it really quickly right away because I know that someone filled out the form. Okay, now I mentioned what happens if we only want to receive SMS messages if we only get a bad review or a bad testimonial. Okay, for that, we're going to add a little bit of conditional logic inside of Zapier. So in between this or before the SMS, we're going to click plus. Oops, back to setup. Hold on right here there we go we're going to add a filter okay so remember it's before the sms so what we're going to do is that we are going to choose one of the fields and we're going to choose for example the one that says would you like to recommend our company for obvious reasons if someone says they don't want to recommend your company well you know that something is wrong and you should really attend that client because hey Maybe he has something really good to say, or maybe in the general comments, there's something that's important that you might have to take care of, or maybe a suggestion that you're gonna take care of right away. So this conditional logic will only make it send the SMS if you get a bad review or say no. So the conditional logic is this one. If it contains, does not contain exactly message, then we have some of these, okay? So in this case, we're gonna say if it contains, okay? And if it contains the value of, let me remember what it said. No, okay, N-O, just N-O like that. It's gonna continue, okay? So here, the conditional logic is saying right here for the filter, only continue if this happens. So let's click on continue. And it's saying your zap would have continued. So if that flow happened, it would continue to the SMS and it would send out, okay? Um, let's go ahead and test that out really quickly. Let's turn on the zap. Okay, we're good to go. Conditional logic is set. Let's go fill out our form again. Let's go into open a new tab. And in this case, we'll say John Trevor. And we're gonna say no, so it, so it triggers the SMS. If not, it won't trigger it. And this could be anything that we want. Well, let's just switch it up a bit so we see that on the email, on the SMS. and. Again, we'll just add a test right there. Submit. Let me turn up the volume over here. 
and we should receive the SMS shortly. There we go. We just received the SMS. Okay. And the SMS is here on the bottom. So now we received it just as promised. Now let's go a little bit more further into the automation. Let me close this. Let's go back to our SMS right here. Conditional logic for the action. Again, we're in the action to set the filter. Let's change the filter. Okay, let's continue. Let's change the filter. Let's delete this one. And now we're going to use our survey fields for triggering the SMS. So let's go ahead and choose. And we're going to say what happens if, for example, how was the service? Let's select that conditional field. And what's going to happen if it contains, for example, oops, let me turn that down. So we're using the conditional logic for that one for the field. How was the service? Let me go down here. How was the service? I have it at a five. So, oops, at a five. So I want to trigger the SMS if we get a bad rating on the service. So we're going to say if they choose one, two or five, well, we're going to trigger it. So we're going to say three and we're going to add one more. So we're saying or not and. So what does that happen? If one of these meet, meets the criteria, it's going to send out the SMS. If I select and, that means that both of these have to be equal to send out the SMS. So make sure to select or. And again, we're going to select the same field for how was the service. And again, it contains, and this one is a two. And one more, we're going to say for the same one, how was the service? And again, the text contains a one. Okay. So we're saying if it has one, two, or three, it's going to continue. Since the first form submission has a five, in that case scenario, it won't continue. See right there, your SAP would not have continued because it has a five as a trigger right now, because that's how I set it up. But we know that if one, two or three is selected, it's going to continue to the next step and it's going to send out our SMS to alert us right away that we have a bad review, a bad testimonial, or if you just want to set it up for general use for every submission you have, don't use the filter and you'll receive an SMS for all the submissions. Well, that is how you receive an SMS message when you receive a form submission. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.